what you're here for. another what I eat in a day video which is probably the most requested video on my channel because six years ago I used to be 60 pounds overweight which I know doesn't seem like a lot but I'm only five foot two so that is quite a lot for my body <laughs> but I lost it all by myself not from working out but mostly from healthy eating which I still eat today so I wanted to show you guys some brand new recipes some vegetarian options some Asian inspired dishes yeah, they're super delicious, and I'm really, really excited to make this video. So I'm gonna cut this intro short because I'm really, really hungry. I have an issue with blabbing on too long in the intros, and I really need to just get to the point. So we're just gonna get to the point and start the video, okay? Here we go. So let's start with breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making oatmeal with almond milk, raspberries, chia seeds, and peanut butter with honey. I wanted to make this today, but I didn't wanna make eggs for breakfast because literally every single what I eat in a day video I make an egg. If you guys are vegetarian, even if you're not, try these because I actually prefer these now to meat sausages, which is crazy. I never thought I'd be one of those people that say that because I literally eat sausages every single day and it tastes so good. Like it literally tastes like meat, but you feel healthy eating it. So, recommend that. Where's my measuring cup? Where, where, where'd it go? The one day I <laughs> decide to film this video, it goes missing. Oh, there it is, I found it. Huh. Oh! So I've been really liking, oh, maybe I should get rid of this so it's not so dirty. <laughs> So recently, I've been having it with almond milk rather than milk. I just find when I have milk, it leaves my stomach feeling really full, if that makes any sense, like really heavy. I just feel a lot more healthier when I have this. Let me just turn this on to high heat. I do it until like it kind of covers everything. So once it starts boiling like this, you're gonna wanna put it on a low heat. I'm gonna try my hardest to make this so aesthetically pleasing. Let's put it like in the bowl. Oh, yeah. It looks like a strip landing. <laughs> Ew, it looks like a vagina. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I've done it now. You can probably skip this stuff, but it's just the sugar addict in me. Wants a little bit of honey. Some butter de peanut. Some raspberries. What the fuck am I doing? And then I'm gonna put some cinnamon in here as well because cinnamon boosts your metabolism or something like that, I don't know. Just cover up that strip landing. It doesn't look so stripy. Wow, it does not look like shit. <laughs> I'm gonna add in a little bit of bananas. A bon appetit. Here is our oatmeal. <gasps> Good morning, Carl. Good morning, handsome. Get that camera out of my face. What are you doing looking all grumpy? <laughs> I am starving. I need to feed him his breakfast afterwards. You look so pretty this morning. Of course I do. <laughs> Why are you looking at it with both eyes? I am looking at how ugly you are. We are gonna make our coffee. I cannot go one day without it. Also, my coffee is not healthy. It's super sugary. My motto since I started losing weight was if I can't have my sugary coffee in the morning, I don't want to be slim. Sorry, it's a little bit messy in here, but it's my channel. <laughs> Boom. All you need, people, is ah, this is the hot diggity dog. It is so damn good. I just could drink this all day, every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just can't live without her. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. Oh god, don't don't spill. I actually have a lot of water throughout the day, which is probably another reason why I've been able to maintain my weight loss. Always have a big glass of water with every meal. So take a little bit of the peanut butter. This feels almost like a dessert rather than breakfast, which is amazing for me because I have the biggest sweet tooth on the earth. So definitely recommend for you guys to try this recipe. It's really, really good. I 
think I'm actually gonna change my clothes. I'm not comfortable. That's a lot better. So I'm back, have my bitch face on, and I'm ready to eat some lunch. I was actually gonna make you guys egg fried rice with steamed broccoli and sriracha featured in Jen Im's What I Eat In A Day video because I literally eat that all the time now ever since I watched that. But everyone's kind of panic buying in the stores and there's no rice except for like the big bulky ones. So I don't have any rice at the moment, so I'm going to show you the next best thing. And actually, it's a lot healthier for you. We're going to be having some avocado toast, which I know sounds basic as fuck. Don't worry, girl. I always thought avocado toast was basic too, until I learned to add tomatoes and balsamic vinegar and then have some chickpea salad with red onion, cucumber, tomatoes, feta cheese. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm going to make it. My mouth is literally salivating right now. Salivating, salivating. I don't know that word. You guys always make fun of me for it. So to make this, you're gonna need two pieces of toast, some plum tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, you know, a little bit of feta cheese. Never heard nobody. Where did it go? My red onion's gone. Oh, there it is. One red onion, chickpeas, some balsamic vinegar. If you're a vegetarian, obviously don't add this in, but mm, smoked salmon. I normally don't have smoked salmon because it's so expensive, but we picked it up yesterday just for a change and I'm gonna have it today for lunch. I don't even know if this is gonna taste good with this, but we'll just see. If it doesn't, I'll leave it on the side. First step, add our wholemeal toast into the toaster. of lemon juice, drizzle of olive oil, salt, and some pepper. You literally just mix this up and it creates a super delicious chickpea salad. Oh, awkward, I wasn't even recording. So I added in more lemon juice and some more salt just because there wasn't enough for my liking. Okay, so now onto the toast. I'm gonna take this fork and mash it. And then the last step is you're gonna take your balsamic vinegar. Oh no, oh I didn't. Okay, don't do that. Do this. Oh God, <laughs> it's making a big mess. I have a paper towel. We can rescue it. Please don't drown tomatoes. Oh, look at all that excess balsamic. So I've just added in my smoked salmon and I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but we can just try it. Bon appetit. This is really good for you. Moment of truth. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Is this gonna taste good? Yeah, that tastes really good together. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And of course, I can't forget a nice fresh cup of water. So it's actually 6 p.m. and we're gonna be cooking dinner, which is my favorite time of day because that means I get dessert afterwards. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll know exactly what dessert I'm talking about. For tonight, I'm gonna be making some miso soup, which you guys have been highly requesting. And I'm gonna be making some Szechuan chicken lettuce wraps, which are inspired from Cactus Club. I actually made this recipe in my first What I Eat In A Day video, which I made almost three whole freaking years ago. That's a long time. And I'm still sitting here doing the same shit, just making the same food. Where am I going with my life? And I forgot to defrost the chicken. Perfect. And I'm not gonna frost it in there. I'm gonna just let it sit in there for a while. You know, you know how it is. Okay, so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make miso soup. The ingredients to make miso soup are seaweed, green onion, tofu, and then I got this white miso. I'm a little bit sad because this one doesn't have dashi stock in it. Dashi is like um, a broth made of dried bonito shavings, and I can't find that anywhere. I've been ordering this product which already has the broth included. So when you mix it in, it legit just tastes like the miso soup you get from the restaurant. 
but this is just the miso without the dashi. So it's vegetarian, there's nothing going on in here. I'm sure it'll taste good. So you literally just take a pot like this. Oh, I do have a little bit of rice. I'm gonna add this into our meal, our dinner dinner. Once your water is boiling, you're literally just gonna take your ingredients, pop them in there. Then we're just gonna let it boil for about five minutes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing our dinner. So to make Szechuan chicken wraps, you're gonna need some Szechuan sauce, obviously, peppers, mushrooms, onions, green onions, cilantro or coriander from the UK, some iceberg lettuce, and peanuts, which I didn't know in the UK they call monkey nuts. Do they actually call them monkey nuts or did I pick up the wrong thing? Wouldn't they be called elephant nuts? Because elephants eat them. So now that the miso soup is finished boiling, now I'm gonna add in the miso paste. My tip is just to keep adding the miso and then tasting it, and then once you like how it tastes, it's finished. You see that? You see that? Is that not miso soup or is that not miso soup? Oh yeah. It doesn't taste bad. It still tastes pretty good. It just doesn't have like that body to it. Okay, let me put that aside and start cooking my other stuff. peanuts or monkey peanuts. I couldn't find any that were shellless, so I gotta break the shell. Voila, here is the Szechuan chicken wraps, kind of inspired by Cactus Club, kind of a lot different. And like with all my meals, I have a huge glass of water with it. So I'm on my camera now, sorry camera. I'm on my iPhone now because my camera just died. But can you guys guess what I love to have for dessert? Give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Faces pieces, duh. If you didn't know that, you don't know me. Uh, so I'm just joking. This is one of my favorite things to have for dessert. I don't eat the whole thing. I ate half of it yesterday and then I'm gonna eat half of it tonight. And I don't try to have it too often. But yeah, it's my favorite thing to eat. I think I'm gonna end the video here, obviously, because it's the end of the day. It's like almost nine o'clock now. So I'm gonna go eat this, watch some movies. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.